Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your many blessings upon my life, Lord. Thank you for protecting your people from all over the world. We have no other God besides you, Lord. We are calling on you, Father. We are calling on you, our way maker. We are calling on you, our promise keeper. We are calling on you, Lord. The God of Abraham and Jacob. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, Lord, my Father. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, Abba, Father. We are calling on you, the mighty man of war. We are calling on you, the greater I am, God. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, Lord. You say anytime we call you, it's all slow. Anytime we call you, you answer us, Lord, and you show us great and mighty things which we don't know about. We are calling on you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, our Rebecca. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, Lord. Our promise keeper. The Lord that changed and all, the Lord that caused the glory to shine before us. We are calling on you, Lord, our Father. We are calling on you, Lord. We are calling on you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are calling on you, Lord. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no like you, Lord. Ancient of days, you reign. You reign. There is no like you, Lord. Ancient of days, you reign. You reign. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign. You reign. There is no. Lord, you, Lord, ancient of days, you reign, you reign, and you are God, Elohim, ancient of days, you reign, you reign, there is no Lord, you, Lord, ancient of days, you reign. You will. There is no Lord, you Lord. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no Lord, you Lord. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no like you, Lord, ancient of days, you reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim, ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no like you, Lord, ancient of days, you reign, you reign. 
You are God, Elohim, ancient of days. You reign, you reign. There is no Lord, you Lord, ancient of days. You reign, you reign. You are God, Elohim, ancient of days. You ain't, you ain't, there is no like you, Lord, ancient of days, you ain't, you ain't, you are God, Elohim, ancient of days, you ain't, you ain't. There is no like you, my father. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign, you are God. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no like you, my father. Ancient of days, you reign. You are, you are God, Elohim. Oh, I'm a shiki, oh, 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 I'm a soto, oh, 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 Ancient of days, I worship you in the beauty of your holiness, Lord. There ain't nobody like you, Lord. Nobody can do me the way you do. Nobody can take your place in my life, Lord. Nobody, Lord, can protect me like you do. Nobody can deal with me. Nobody can provide for me like you do. Nobody can shelter me. Nobody can favor me, Lord. You are God. Your kingdom reigns forevermore. You are in charge, Jesus. I set you the whole world for nobody like you. Nobody can be like my father. Nobody can be like you, Lord Jesus. Nobody can fight the many battles for your people and give a victory. Nobody can deal with us for our strong enemy and avenge us. Nobody can subdue those fighting us on our own feet, Lord. He's a sure that we got out against it. But now, by me, Lord, oh, what a shaker. Whoever does attack you, whoever does got out against you, they shall fall for your sake. You say his anger is here for the moment, his favor is for life. We be made endure for the night, but joy coming in the morning, Lord. We be made endure for the night, but joy coming in the morning, Lord. You are God, Elohim, ancient of day. You reign, you reign. There is no like you, Lord. You are God in every situation, Lord. You are God in our lives. You will be faithful to us when we are not faithful, Lord. Your faithfulness is for everlasting to everlasting, Lord. Your faithfulness is forevermore. You will be faithful to us, Lord. When we are not faithful, Jesus, 
You are too faithful to fail, oh Lord. You are too faithful to fail, oh Lord. You are too faithful to let me down. You didn't bring me this far to let me alone. You promised that you will never leave me nor forsake me. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are God. Hey, 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 you reign, you reign. There is no love, you know. Lord, you know. Nobody can take your place, Lord Jesus. Nobody can do me the way you do, Lord. Nobody can accept me like you do, Lord. It's a Christ in me, the hope of glory. I can do all things you, Christ, which strengthen me. Out of a sheet, my son, my son, my son, my son, my son, my son, Lord, thank you, Lord, for your many blessings, Lord. Thank you for your many blessings upon our lives. Thank you for your divine. Thank you for your defense. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for the healing of those that need your miraculous healing, Lord. Thank you for provision for those that are trusting you, Lord. Thank you for your many blessings in our lives. You are God. You reign, you reign. There is no love, you know. Ancient no this, Araba Sotura. There is no love, you know. We call it on you, Yahweh. We call it on you, the mighty man of war. We call it on you, the ocean divider. We call it on you, the way maker, the promise keeper. The God that never brings his covenant. Your promises are yes and amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 17. No. The promises of law. The promises of the law are yes and amen. Hold over shiki. You, your spirits. Oh, therefore, you worship her. Must worship you in spirit and in true law. Hold over shiki. You say, you will be all you are the law of all flesh. Is there anything to have for you? Is there anything to have for you? According to Jeremiah 32 27, Lord, you are God. Hey, Lord, hey, shed all this. You read, you read. There is no Lord, you, Lord. Hey, shed all this. You read, you read. There is no Lord, you know, ancient of this. You reign, you reign. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm calling on your name. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be delivered. And according to Romans 10, verse 13, no. Anyone who call upon your name and have faith in you, they shall be saved. You will fight that many battles, you will bring victory to your table, no. Horrible, oh, shiki, no, 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 no. Because you are too faithful to disappoint, oh, Jesus. You are too faithful to disappoint, oh, Yahweh. You are too dead, oh, shiki, no, no, no. You are able, God. You are too faithful to let us down. You are too faithful to fail us, no. You are too faithful to fail me, no. You are proving yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to let me down. You are too faithful to disappoint me, no. You do faithful to abandon your children. You are too faithful to let us down. You are too faithful to forsake us. You are too faithful to abandon us. You didn't bring us as far to leave us, Lord. You promised in your word. You will never leave us nor forsake us, Jesus. 
You are the God that keep your promise, Lord. The God that trust the Lord. Why you say you will do what you promise you will fulfill? You are the faithful to fill me. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of day. You are. You are. There is no Lord you know. Ancient of day. You are. You are. There is no Lord you know. Ancient of days. You will, you will. There is no absolute. There is no search all around the world. I've never found anybody like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I search even in my family, even with my acquaintances, even with my prince, my neighbors, everywhere in every gathering. I've never seen anybody let like you know. I was search, I look left and right. I look up and down. I look below and then above. Oh, no more shiki. I wanna see anybody like you. Nobody can do me the way you do, Lord. Nobody can find my battle for me. The Lord is fighting my battle. I'm holding my peace, Lord. The Lord is fighting your battle. You are holding your peace, Lord. According to Esther 1440. You are God. Elohim. You reign, you reign. There is no Lord, you Lord. Ancient of day, you reign forevermore in our lives. How horrible shiki da da. How horrible shiki da 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 da. How horrible shiki da da. Promotion come now from the west, from the east, from the south. The Lord is the righteous. He removed one and he saw that not all. And according to Psalm 71, Horobashi, Psalm 75, Horobashi, for says in Horobashi, the Lord is the righteous. He removed what he has so that no other. The Lord shall just show them. He frustrated the capture of the device that their hand will not carry out their enterprise, their plan. The Lord frustrated the plans of the device against you and I. That their hands will not carry out their plans against us, Lord. Hear the boy, she can show that they will gather against us. He that get flock, they will surround them all like a flock. But the Lord will raise the standard against them to scatter them. In one way they will come, in several ways they shall scatter. I call it to number 7. To number 28, 7 and verse 14, Lord. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. There is no, no, you, no. Ancient of days, you reign, you reign. Ah, my father, I'm calling on you, you know. The God I found my many battles, and he gave me victory. When I low left and right, there ain't nobody let my go. My God moves mountain, he causes fall to fall. Where power he performs miracle, there is nothing that is impossible. You are God. Elohim. Hey, hey. Mm. Lord, you are God. You are God forevermore. You are God for the beginning and the end. We call you Alpha and Omega. The God who is, who was, who is to come. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of days. You will. You will. My Lord, I will see you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for breaking, for revising every arrow, every projection, every spell. Thank you for removing every spell. Thank you for renouncing every demonic power, every devilish power, every principality, every occult power, Santa Maria, power of the prince of the air, marine power, witchcraft power. Thank you for demonizing every stroll. Thank you for delivering us from our show enemy that were too strong for us. We have no power on our own. We have no power on our Holy Spirit. Come and manifest yourself, Lord. You are God. Elohim. 
Eh, no day. There is no log you know. Eh, no day. You reign, my love. You reign, my love. You reign, my love, in the lives of your people. Hold on, you reign in our lives together. You reign in our life collectively. Wherever they gather, it's not by your doing, it's not by me, Lord. Whoever gathered against this shall fall for that sake. Because you are turned my money into dancing, my sorrow into happiness. You are turned the money of your children into dancing, and your sorrow into rejoicing. You are God. Elohim. Shadow day. You hey. you You say that the wicked be the ransom for the righteous, Lord. Let the wicked be the ransom for the righteous. And going to prophet to the voice, to the voice, to the one for 18, no. Prophet to the one for 18, let the wicked be the ransom for the righteous. The wicked flee when no man pursue. The righteous are bold as lion, and going to prophet to the voice, one. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, going to Psalm 7, verse 9. Let the wicked fall into that open while we escape safely. I'm going to sound one for the one verse 10. You are God. Asian all this. You win. There is no love, you my father. Asian all this. You win. You win. You are God. Elohim. Nation of this, you win, you win. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God is God, He's all God by Himself. He's the ancient of this, He reigns in our lives, in our families. In our gathering, in our jobs, at our job sites, in our ministry, he reigns. All power from above has been given to our Father. So therefore, those who trust in him, such power has been transferred unto us. Take you, Holy Spirit. All power and authority have been given to me. But my father wishes he had when coming to Matthew 28 18. That's why Jesus is. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of this. You win. There is no. Lord, you Lord. Ancient of this. You win forevermore. You are God. Elohim. Nation of day, mm. there is no Lord, you know. Nation of days, you are you. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. You, are. you are giving all the key of the kingdom, Lord. You are giving all the key of the kingdom, Matthew 18 18. You said in your word. Hold over, she can show that I said to you. Whatever you burn, I will be burned in heaven. Whatsoever you lose, I will be loose in heaven. We burn every work of the wickedness against our life. We burn every work of principalities, every evil projection, every arrow, every spell, every enchantment, divination, incantation, everywhere they gather, everywhere they cast in spell. We overturn it. We renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. <coughs> By the leading of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> I'm going to continue on the topic cause faithfulness. As our line meditating, the Holy Spirit reminded me of his faithfulness. I said, wow. About God's faithfulness. Sometimes you may be in a situation 
And you feel God has forgotten you. But he never forget his people. <clears throat> he never forget us. It doesn't matter what the enemy want to do. It doesn't matter how they want to project against you and myself. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit say, who is he? That should say a things or to speak against you and I and it come to pass when God did not give the approval or God commanded it not. Who is he? To say nothing good should happen to you. Who is that man? Who is that woman? Who is that principality? Who is that occultic power? Priest. Who is that devilish priest? Who is he? Who is he that want to put for or want to try God's anointing upon your life? Who is he that want to say, only what he or she feel that will happen? Who they are? You are God. Elohim. Ancient of this. You reign. You reign. There is no Lord, you know, ancient of this. You reign. You reign. Father, I thank you for this time. Come in our midst, Lord. For we are nothing without you, Lord. And we know for sure that we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Through you that gave us the strength. Care for the strength. In Jesus' mighty name. You are God. Elohim. Ancient of days. You reign. You reign. There is no Lord, you Lord, ancient of days, you reign, you reign. Thank you, Lord. The faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of God surrounds us every day. The faithfulness of God are so enormous. God's faithfulness, they are countless. In Jesus' name. But first of all. What do we mean by faithfulness according to the Bible? The faithfulness of God means to remain loyal and steadfast, strong feeling, or to pledge an allegiance. Many times, people pledge allegiance to their respective flags of their country. It means you pledge your loyalty, your commitment, your trustworthiness. You can defend it with even your life. That's how God defend you and I. God is so faithful to the extent that He preserves us, He blesses us, He strengthens us, He guides us. Yes. God is so faithful. That's why He expects us to be faithful. To be devotionally committed to him. Consistency. Many people are not consistent. They are today here, tomorrow there. Today they come to go. Tomorrow they go into the devil. They feel that God is so slow. To meet them at the points of their knees. So they are not committed. So they are lukewarm Christian. Carnality. They say oh, carnality take over their lives. Because if you are to be faithful. You should be faithful to God. It doesn't matter what the situation. It doesn't matter snowstorm, hurricane, earthquake. Just remain faithful. That's how God is. He's so faithful. God is so faithful to us that He loves us beyond measure. God is so faithful that He expects us to endure long suffering. God is so faithful that He expects us to have patience. He expects us to endure. He expects us to have steadfastness in Him. That's what the songwriter said. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercyness never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Grace and faithfulness. When we are to be faithful, as God is faithful to us, 
Call expect us to have love. For John 4, 7. Little children. We voice one say, little children, you are of God. Greater a seed that is in you than he that is in the world. For seven say, how about shikire? For God is love, and he who love is of God. We ought to love one another. Love comes by forgiveness, tolerance, acceptance, letting go, the anger, the bitterness, emptying it out, relieving it from your heart, expiring it from your spirit, from your system, your rage, letting it go and letting Jesus in your heart. Because the Bible makes us understand that Christ in us, the hope of glory. When you accept Jesus in your heart, the hope of glory. You cannot accept Jesus in your heart, then you have some filthy environment, you have some dirty stuff, you have some stench and rest. God does not operate that way. Jesus cannot dwell in an unclean environment. He wants you to invite him into your life so that he can take hold of your life, so he can be in charge of your life. That's why he said in Revelation 3.20, Behold, he stands at the door and now. Whoever hears him and invites him in, he will come in and be with you and you will be with him. Second Corinthians five seventeen says, "If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away. All things things have passed away. All the all life, the lifestyle, the unforgiveness, all the bitterness, the rage, all the wickedness, all the evil have passed away. Behold, everything has been re been been renewed, been renewed, been renewed in Christ Jesus. The Bible said, be not, do not be conformed unto this world.'" But be transformed, be transformed, be transformed. We are not to be conformed to this world. Let the Holy Spirit transform our lives. By inviting Jesus into our, into our lives, into our lives, into our hearts, into our activity and taking charge. Most people do allow Jesus to take charge. Most people only call his name in vain, Vic. They are doing some stuff, then they say, oh my all this how will you call the name of the law in vain that shall not call the name of the law in vain most people call the name of the law in vain let us be careful you are in the midst of doing some devilish thing then you call it the name of god you make it mockery of god god doesn't like it when i'm standing here to say or think i'm not on my own authority i'm speaking on the authority of the holy spirit sometimes i may have a topic that he asked me to speak on but while speaking on that topic he dropped another thing in my spirit i have to obey obedience is better than sacrifice many are called but few are chosen god is so faithful therefore he expects you are to be faithful be faithful to your services to your government, to your leader. Everything your hand found to do, be faithful in doing it. Do not cheat, do not steal, do not be manipulative, do not be in conspiracy of against anybody. Many people go to churches today, they hold a big Bible, some of their Bible are so fun, beautiful, but check in the Bible. What lies in the deceit? Deceit. But stabbing. Matthew 7 21 say, Now all that say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into God's kingdom. Only he that doeth the will of God in heaven. Only he who does the will of God in heaven. Only he who does what pleases God. In short, are you in right standing with God? God is faithful to you. Are you faithful to God? Are you only committing your entirety to God, looking up? Upon him or looking up to him for solution to every problems you are going to. Are you there like, oh, you know what? This God thing here, God is so slow. I have waited so long. I can no longer take it. Don't you know that the moment you lack patience, you don't want to wait as well. Everything turns around. Read a story in Exodus and Deuteronomy. When Moses went to receive the Ten Commandments. The children of Israel lack patience. They lose it. They lose it and they started partnership, allying with their partners in crime to form a graven or carved image. 
The moment they completed forming the calf image, here comes Moses with the Ten Commandments, with a seal in his hand, with a tablet in his hand. So you see, it's important to be patient. Sometimes your breakthrough is at the verge of being released to you. But you, you, you don't want to be patient. You lose it. You say, enough is enough. I can no longer take it. Uh -uh. What you can't take now, you have been taking it years ago. But just for this moment, you say you can no, no, no longer take it. Habab Habaku 2 3 say, Though the vision may tarry, though the vision may take a while, it may stay longer than expected, but it will surely come to pass. The vision will surely come to pass. Whatever God plan for you will surely come to pass. No matter how the evil people try to project, no matter how the witchcraft, how the hustle, wickedness try to manipulate, it will surely come to pass. The vision is here for an appointed, an appointed time. It is here for an appointed time. The time is set. No matter what the devil does, the devil can never abort God promises over your life. That's how faithful God is. God is totally trustworthy. Mm -hmm. He is perfectly. He does not lie. Number 23, 19. Says it all. God is not a man that he should lie. He's not a man that he should repent. Has he said it and he didn't do it? Has he promised it and he didn't bring it to fulfillment? God is so faithful. He is so faithful to the extent that when we turn our back on him, he remains faithful to us. Yes. When it seems to be impossible, Matthew 19, 26, with me, it, it seems to be impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Luke 1, 37, say, with God, all things are possible. That's how faithful God is. That's how faithful God is. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. He said, do not lean on your own understanding. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways, in everything you do, acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. That's how faithful God is. Because he guides us. He said, though you go through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fe I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Psalm 23 from verse 4 down. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. His rod and his staff, they come for me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup run over. Show the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For we know that all things were together for good to them that love the Lord and to them which are called according to his purpose. According to Romans 8, 28. Jeremiah 29, 11. The plan he has for all plan of peace and not of evil to give us hope and future. How the some translation or some version say how to give us an unexpected end. God is so faithful that he does not allow us to go through a temptation that he will not give us the strength to overpower. He says in 2 Corinthians 7, 2 and 7 down to 10. He said, Let I be exalted above measure based on the revelation. A messenger of Satan was sent against me to buffer me. There are so many messengers of Satan all around. They are in churches, they are in our homes, in our environment, at our job site. There are so many surrounding us. They don't want you to shine, to outshine for your gift to be manifested, for your gift to come to, to realization, for people to notice you, for people to know, ah, this brother, this sister, this woman, this man, this man has such a gift, or this man, God is using this man, God is using these people. They don't want for anyone to speak anything about you that God is using. You see it? So there's a problem when you have a gift in you, they want to... They all know they want to trample your gift under their feet. But who are you to say a thing and come to pass? Who are you to play evil against someone? The Bible said, do not touch God's anointed and do a prophet no harm. According to Psalm 105 verse 15. Horrible she kidara sunture. Isaiah 41 verse 10 say, I will not fear. How about she? But the Lord is with me. He will uphold me with his righteous right hand. I will not fear. I will not fear. 
How about you? I will not fear any plan of the enemy. So that they will gather. But the Lord shall scatter them. They will be like a chaff that the wind blow it. As that's what I love my God. He said they will always gather. But not by me. He was all, they were always gathered. But not by me, oh. Whoever gathered against me, remember that you have a battle. You have God to contend with. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge. A strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the eye be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters rise and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Mosa. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just as the break of dawn. The nation rich. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and I've melted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sometimes oh, the Holy Spirit is so good. He said in Psalm 91, he said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. So that He shall deliver you from the snare of the fallen and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feather and under His wing you shall take refuge. His shoe shall be your sheet and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in dagger, nor of the destruction that lay that lays waste at noon day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall be for you. How about Shiki? That's a faithfulness of God. No, no shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angel charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Ah, uh, in their hands, they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, and you shall trample on the foot. Because he has set his love above me, hold upon me, therefore I will deliver him. That's why the Lord said, be, be, because you have set your love upon the Lord, he will deliver you. I will set him on her, I will set her on her, because she has no money. Oh, she shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with her in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's how faithful God is. God promises are yes and amen according to 2 Corinthians 1 17. That's how faithful God is. He is too faithful to fail. Oh, that's why the song rather say, He is too faithful to fail me. He is proving himself in my life. And I've come to realize He is too faithful to fail me. He is too faithful to leave me away. He is too faithful to throw me down. He is proving himself in my life. And I have come to realize. He is too faithful to fail me. God is too faithful to fail me. He is too faithful to fail any of his children. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be safe. And those who trust in the Lord are the man Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide forever as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So God surround his people. And according to Psalm 125, verse 1 down. Isaiah 40, 31 said, Those who wait upon the Lord, he renew their strength. They mount up with wings as eagle. They run and they don't, they don't get weary. They walk and they do not faint. That's the promises of God. Those are the faithfulness of God towards his children. How about Shikide? What the Psalm 1 says, I'm going to read. Blessed is the man who walks not in the castle of the ungodly, nor stay in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the law, and in his law he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth and fruit in season. Whatsoever whose leaf also shall not wait on, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. That's the promises of God. That's how faithful God is to you and myself. That's how faithful God is. That's how faithful God is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's how faithful God is. You see, Second Corinthians 2, 7 down, unless I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation, a tongue in the flesh. There are so many tongues in the fleshes all around. There are so many pain in the neck. 
against many people, against children of God. There are so many pins in the neck, torn in the flesh. They are torn in the flesh because of your anointing. They are torn in the flesh because you are gifting. But God has a word for us. He said, unless I should be exalted above the measure by the abundance of revelation, a thorn in the flesh was given to me. A messenger is set up to buffer me. Let just hard about you. Let I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my, in, in my infirmities. I will rather boast in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. That's how faithful God is. That's how faithful God is. 2 Timothy 2 30 says, If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Deuteronomy 7 for now. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandment to a thousand generations. Second Thessalonians 3 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guide you against the evil one. The Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guide us against the evil one. First Corinthians 10 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to men. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide way of escape that you may be able to endure it. For John 1 now says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. First Corinthians 1 now, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Hebrews 10 23, this is our scripture. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope with our wavering, for he who promised is faithful. The Lord that promised is faithful. God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. He has he said it, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not fulfill it? Lamentation 2, 22 to 23. The, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is their faithfulness. Lamentation 3, 22 to 23. Psalm 33 verse 4. For the word of the Lord is, is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. Romans 3, 3. What if some were unfaithful does their faithlessness notify the faithfulness of God? No! If you remain unfaithful, God say remain faithful. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Exodus 34 says, The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Take it, Jesus. Exodus 28 verse 20, A faithful man will abound with blessing, but whoever hastens to be rich will not be will not go unpunished. Hey, she got him. He said, a faithful man will abound with blessing, but whoever has sin to be rich will not go unpunished. The Bible said in Mark 8, it says, why shall a prophet a man to gain his whole world and lose your soul? Prophet 10, 22 said, the blessing of the Lord may reach and add no sorrow. Thank you, Lord. First Corinthians 4, 2. More of our is required of stewards that they be for trustworthy. It is required of stewards to be that they be false trustworthy. It is required of us that I call ourselves sons and daughters of God to be found trustworthy, to be found committed, to be found faithful in serving God. It is important. It is important. Faithfulness requires us to submit our ways to God. That's what the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord. He will direct your path. Philippians 4, 6 and 7 say, Be anxious for nothing but everything through prayers and supplic through prayers, supplication and thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God and the peace of God will surpass all understanding. Will guide your mind and your heart through Christ Jesus. Mark 11, 11 say, Jesus answered and said, Have faith in God. If you want to be faithful, you need to have faith in God. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And in verse 6 says, 
Whoever comes to God must believe, must believe that He is, that He exists, that He is for real. God is reliable, He is trustworthy, He is faithful, He is sincere. He is abandoned in love. His steadfastness never come to an end. And he is a rewarder to those who diligently seek seek him. Chiefful for heart about seven to eight. Say, submit yourself to God and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. Father, we thank you for this time of broadcast. Thank you for your word that have come forth for your people. In Jesus' mighty name. John 3 verse 3 say. Unless a man be born again, you will not enter God's kingdom. The rule of engagement. Seeking God's kingdom and his rationale and all other things shall be added unto you first and foremost. Matthew says 33. That's the doorway to salvation. Then accepting Jesus as personal Lord and Savior and seeking him first in his kingdom and his rationale are the pathway to salvation. There is no other name other than the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, demon bar. Heaven and I adore him. The angels bow before him. Principality flee. Because he's the head of all principality and power. According to Colossians 2 and verse 10. Colossians 2 15 says, He he spoiled principalities and power. He made sure of the opening triumphant over them. Oh, when he when he was crucified on the cross, he spoiled principality and power. Hold up a shake. Before restoration, there was crucifixion. That's why believers we have, we believe in restoration. But let us don't ignore and Forget about the crucifixion. There, there is no resurrection be, be, before or uh, beside crucifixion. Jesus died on the cross and he destroyed the work of the devil on the cross. The curtain was thrown into two on the cross. So he destroyed principalities and power on the cross. He made sure of them opening the triumph and the victory over them. That's the promises that God has. Christ in us the hope of glory according to Colossians 1 17. May Jesus Lord of your life and serve him as personal Lord and Savior and all other things shall be added unto you. May Jesus first and foremost. Say Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and dwell with me today, my family. Show me the light. Because you say in St. John 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to my father except by me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to God and father except by him. He is a consuming fire, Hebrew 12, 29. His blood speaks good things and that are able to speak vengeance. And according to Hebrew 12, 24. That's how faithful God is. Give your life to Jesus today that he will set you free and you will live with him in eternity. Cast your cares and burden unto him and he will give you rest. He said, come to me, therefore, all ye that are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 28 verse 11. God is so faithful to us. He never leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews 13 verse 5 to us in verse 8. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Welcome Jesus into your life today and let him be the Lord of your life. Give your life to Jesus. Let him be the Lord of your family, over your ministry, over whatever you do. Because all is vanity and meaningless. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for this time. That we may know you in the power of your restoration. And the fellowship of your suffering that may comfort unto your death. According to Philippians 3 verse 10. Lord, take hold of our lives for we know Christ in us the hope of glory and we can do all things through you that strengthen us you say if any man be in you he is a new creation behold all things have passed away all disappointment all frustration all uncleanliness all immoralities all unforgiveness have passed away behold I am not a new person Lord renew me transform me for your goodness for your kingdom let me be a kingdom partakers in Jesus' mighty name. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. Father, we thank you for this time of broadcast. Cover your people with the blood of Jesus. Let the joy of the Lord be their strength. According to Nehemiah 8 verse 10. In Jesus' mighty name. We're going to pray one worship song and call it your day.
Yes, Lord. In a merry me. Show you, Nisa. To you, I give my hope, Lord. May not understand how far you brought me, Lord. They may not understand. I own no copyright to the song. May may not understand, Lord. May may not understand, Lord. Eh, Kanaya. Worship you today, Jesus, O oh, Mekanaya. I bow before your throne, Jesus, O oh, Mekanaya. I worship you today, Jesus, O oh, Mekanaya. I bow before your throne. Lord, cover your people under the shadow of your wings. We cancel every accident spirit to also travel by land, air, and sea. Every projection of the enemy, we cancel it by the blood of Jesus. We terminate their assignment. We abort their place. We 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 direct. We disintegrate their power, their communication network, their transportation network, their monitoring gadget in our homes against our life. Every evil projection, every fetish power. Every strong, every enchantment divination, we destroy it by the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, set your people free. Those that believe in you, believe in you for miracle. Meet them at the points of their knees. Lord, thank you. No recurrence anymore. So thank you, Jesus. Love you all with the love of God. Please share and invite somebody. Remember to read your Bible all the time. The word of God is our weapon. Luke 10, 19 says he has given all power and authority to trample over serpent and scorpion over the power of the enemy. And nothing but enemy shall harm us. Mark says, 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 says believe in Jesus and be baptized. But if you not believe in Jesus, you will be condemned. Romans 10, 9 to 10 that says, that if we confess the Lord Jesus with our mouth and believe with our heart that God has raised him from the dead, we will be safe. For with the heart one believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10 verse 13 says, Whoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be safe. There is no salvation other than the name of Jesus. Prophet 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous ran into it are safe. May Jesus Lord of your life today. That he will come and dwell with you, with your families, with everything that concerns you or that pertains to you. God never lies. He never sleeps nor slumber. He said we will lift our eyes unto the hills from where coming our help. Our help coming from him, the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. That's how faithful God is. He's too faithful to fail us. And he so matters in our life. The song where they say, I put you in front, of, in front of my melody. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. Does Jesus already matters to you? When when you are faithful to God, and you remain committed to Him. You will consider a matter to be your matters. And he will consider your matter to be his matter. Because he's all that matters. Fetish power will let you down. Principality, Santa Maria, fraternity, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the devilish you, the marine, the witchcraft, the whatever you did with the dark magic will let you down. But Jesus will never let you down. Because he's too faithful to fail us. In Jesus' name. Love you all.